Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to do a little bit of a garage upgrade project. I have a bunch of uh, ceiling mounted fluorescent lights that I've converted to LED. And I don't need to have all of them on, on at the same time. So what we're gonna do is a little energy conservation project. So I've already taken that one apart, but we're going to install a pull chain switch in those. I picked up a couple of these little inexpensive pull chain switches prices down below and I'll link them in the description below also literally only takes about five to ten minutes per light fixture I'm not going to install of these in all of the light fixtures only ones that I really don't need to use much you can see here how I've drilled a hole in this little knockout plug right there super easy to do I use one of these uh, step bits it requires a 13 30 seconds hole. You can see there how I marked my spot with a, a black pin. So when that drill is rotating, I can see that black mark and know exactly how deep to drill. This switch has two wires on it. One of the wires continues on to the lights and then the other wire, you would hook that up to your hot wire. So what we're gonna do here is disconnect this wire connect up one of the wires to the switch to that and then the other wire right here to this wire and I've got a couple of scrap pieces of uh, 14 gauge Romex here so we're gonna strip the insulation off and pull out the black wire you'll also just need a couple of wire nuts too I dumped out my collection of wire nuts here on the floor and to connect my 14 gauge wire to the switch I'm using some of these small orange wire nuts. There's my two new orange wire nuts and then my length of new 14 gauge wire comes down, connects up to the light fixture and then also to power. So you'll wanna cut your black wires about probably eight inches longer than what you need to have them as far as the actual distance. That way you can kinda of tuck them back up in here like that. I'm we'll go ahead and get my pull chain string attached to the chain here, put the cover back on, reinstall the lamps, and then we'll fire this up. In my earlier shots of this end of the fixture, I had this piece pulled out. On a normal fluorescent light fixture, you'll have wires connected up to these. The type of LED tubes that I upgraded to, my power only connects up to one side, which is going to be that in there so here it is with this reinstalled wires tucked up in there we'll go ahead and get that cover reinstalled and uh, then we're pretty much done with the project before you attach the string to the chain it's not a bad idea to tie a bigger knot in the end of the string and then once you get it inserted back into this little metal thing is just take a pair of pliers squeeze that open and closed that way your string's not gonna have the tendency to pull out. So in the case of that particular light fixture, I always have a vehicle parked over here, so it's kind of just a waste to have that light on all the time. So here we are finished.